The concept of systemic change as we know it is contemporary. It was unknown in St. Vincent's time. However, Vincent expressed himself many, in many related ideas. He urged the members of the family to love the poor spiritually and corporally, affectively and effectively, by word and work. He encouraged his followers to examine various elements in people's lives, to see what their most important needs were, nourishment, health care, education, work, spiritual care. Today we are conscious that people living in poverty live within a social system where some or many of these elements are lacking, a system that, if changed, can help a person emerge from poverty. So the question we asked is, what would Vincent do today? And these are the guidelines that he would offer us. Those living in poverty have priority. We must do the will of God. And we need to globalize charity in order to humanize globalization. And so we have the heritage not only of Vincent, but of Louise, Elizabeth Ann Seton, the founders of the American Sisters of Charity, Rosalie Rendu and Frederick Ozenam, who were instrumental in the beginnings of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And so it is their heritage we carry into the 21st century. We have a deep-seated belief that every person is sacred because he or she is created in the image and likeness of God. Remember, go to the people, live with them, learn from them, start with what they know, build with what they have. But of the best leaders, when the job is done, the task accomplished, the people will say, we have done it ourselves. Frederick Ozenam tells us, do not be afraid of new beginnings. Be creative, be inventive, Organize new works of love in the service of the poor. You who have energy, you, members of the Vincentian family, who have enthusiasm, who want to do something of value for the future, be inventive, launch out, do not wait. So how does our tradition as Vincentians, sons and daughters of Vincent, Louise, Elizabeth, Rosalie, Frederick, and so many others, prepare us to engage in systemic change? They were change agents during the time in which they lived. They had a vision of what was possible and were unfailing in their efforts to transform the lives of those in need. They had the courage of their convictions and the capacity to mobilize people and resources. They developed leadership skills among their followers and empowered others to act. They inspired those who followed with dedication and vision. They developed understanding, commitment, and energy for attending to the vision. They listened to others and sought their ideas and advice. They provided the tools needed to perform the mission. And they gave us enduring models of servant leadership. We are called today to live on the margins of possibility. Where does God call us? What borders are you and I, as members of the Vincentian family in the 21st century, being called to cross? What frontiers do we need to move beyond? One thing is certain, God is calling. How will we respond? <music>